Well, good morning, adventurers. Good morning. We decided to come to Louisiana. <laughs> That's where we are right now. Yeah. <laughs> it so, feels like Louisiana out here, you guys. Yeah. Holy cow. It feels like we're sitting in a swamp Oof. and the humidity is 110%. Yeah, we are pretty much in a swamp though, right now, if you can't tell. Yeah, but the plan is ultimately to make our way down to New Orleans, which we have not been to in quite a few years. Yep. So we're very excited about that, but we wanted to stop and get a little taste of the countryside on our way. Yeah, you guys know we've been pretty stressed out lately, <laughs> mainly because our RV was hit by that semi truck, which we're still sorting through the details, you guys. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, we're probably not gonna get it fixed before we head over to the gutted event that's out in Colorado. So we're drowning our sorrows by taking a little vacation. Yeah. So we got off the beaten path. We found this awesome little tiny cottage that sits right here on the water. It's got this huge dock here. We've just been sitting here watching all the animals. There are turtles everywhere. We've got all kinds of ducks. Definitely what we needed. There is no sign of city life or RV life or anything <laughs> out here. Yeah. It's just us and the nature. There are maybe uh, 10 different turtles surrounding us right now. I think they all think we're going to feed them. <laughs> but they get really scared if we say anything. They all hide underwater and then yeah. they come back. But yeah, our plan is to have a pretty chill day. We're going to show you guys around our awesome little tiny cottage that we've been staying in. It's so cute. Yeah, and we're actually staying just about uh, 20 miles outside of the town of Lafayette, which is about two hours away from New Orleans. We're in like Cajun country, so we're definitely going to be trying some food. Hopefully going out on the swamps if uh, we muster up the courage to battle the alligators yeah. and if the storms stay away. Yeah, storm is on the horizon, you yeah. guys. Check this little guy out. <laughs> hey, buddy. What are you doing? Oh, we got a little turtle there, too. <laughs> I'm gonna have like 50 videos of ducks and turtles, you guys. All right, let's head inside. Mainly because I'm melting. I'm literally melting, <laughs> I'm melting. out here, you guys. So welcome to our little cabin. It's called Little Cypress. And this whole property is actually a huge bed and breakfast called Cajun Country Cottages. And they have a bunch of little houses here on the lake. We decided on this one because we really liked the decor in here. It's just so cute and charming. So downstairs is basically the big open kitchen living room, as you can see, with so much wood. It's so kitschy, I love it. It's very water themed, very Louisiana themed. I do wish we knew how to fish. If you bring your own fishing gear, you can apparently fish off the dock and keep whatever you uh, catch. And this place is wood on wood on wood, which is definitely our style, as you guys probably know at this point. But you got these super rustic, just so heavy looking and real wood floors, which we love. This huge rough sawn wooden beam that supports the whole thing on top of more wooden cross beams. They have a super simple, like rustic farmhouse style kitchen, really nice blue color palette. And then of course, the chill space, you guys. How cozy is this? I wish it was winter, a, because it'd be cold outside, and B, because we could turn on that awesome stove. Check that thing out. It's legit. I mean, we could turn up the AC and still turn it on. <laughs> that might be very uh, environmentally unfriendly, but yeah. hey. <laughs> okay, that's true. And then, if you follow me up these very real wooden old school stairs. The... That's one of the downsides to wood. <laughs> very creaky. They squeak a little bit. You gotta kind of go slow in the night, but up here, we have the charming little bedroom. Y'all, this reminds me of my grandma's, my grandma's house. Wherever your grandma's house? My grandma house? and my goose berms. But they've got like, you know, this handmade quilt on the bed, this nice little wrought iron frame. And as you can see up here, it's a nice little peak with the real wooden floors, the wood paneling. It's just very relaxing. I feel so at home. Very cozy. Very cozy. We're in Louisiana, so we're gonna go get some proper Louisiana grub for oh lunch, you guys. Louisiana is actually known for tons of different types of dishes, and uh, we, we've done a couple food tours around here, I think, so mm -hmm. we'll have to link to those in the description below. But if you fancy some crawfish, some boudin, some etouffee, yep. some gumbo. Some shrimp, all of it, and cooked deliciously, and amazing roux and sauces, and oh, yeah. fried to perfection, this is the area for you. Man, we really sold that. I know. Huh? <laughs> nice. I love Cajun food. Yeah. Now, crawfish aren't exactly in season right now, but we yeah, might get so. them anyway. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Because I really I want some crawfish, dang it. They're supposed to have them all year round, so even if they're frozen, they're still going to be good. I have my laptop because the internet here is not very good, so I'm trying to get a video uploaded because we haven't had a video up in quite a while. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, multitasking. This has been uploading for over 12 hours now, I think, but it's got an hour and a half left, and hopefully we can find some faster internet and get it up even sooner. Okay. If not, we'll head out California way. 
find some internet? To find some internet. <laughs> know anywhere else we can stay? We're heading out California way, looking for some internet. You guys, they have the world's largest crawfish. <laughs> this is awesome and crazy. How appropriate. <laughs> This is super cool though. It's made with all these old pieces of machinery and some of it looks so accurate. Like there's all these little screws and stuff for all their little feelers. It's almost creepily accurate. <laughs> <laughs> it's so big, it's awesome. We came to crazy about crawfish. Crazy bout. Crazy bout crawfish to be exact. We're actually in the town of, I think it's pronounced Bro Bridge, and we just learned that this is the crawfish capital. Of the world. Of the world. Of the whole freaking right world. Here. Sadly, like we said, crawfish are not in season. I'm pretty bummed about that. But so they don't have fresh crawfish. No, but you get plenty of it still, deep fried, grilled. We have just started with our appetizer. This is crawfish jalapeno cheese cornbread topped with crawfish etouffee. It was apparently featured on the Food Network. It is that delicious. It smells... Dig in. Did I almost stab you with that? Maybe, yes. A lot of <laughs> stuff happened at once. <laughs> Do I really get the first bite? Yeah. Aww. You, you get this whole one and I get that whole one. Okay, I like that. They know what they're doing with cornbread. Oh my gosh. So this cornbread is actually super tender. It's not dry or really that grainy. It's got a nice pop of heat from the jalapeno, the cheddar cheese makes it super savory, and that crawfish, you can taste it in there, covered in the delicious gravy. Oh my gosh, does Very it get nice. any better? Mm. And we still have a lot more food coming, oh so <laughs> take it easy. I'll go slow. This is the crawfish boulette. Okay. That's the crab cake. That's the fried gator, fried shrimp. Fried catfish. That's another piece of cornbread just without the etouffee. Good thing I did a super sweaty workout this morning. <laughs> Look at guys. this, you guys. And we they went, put it on a nice little fish plate. I know. <laughs> we went all in. So the plate we got, you got a choice of fried or grilled. It was a tough decision, but last minute we went, we went with fried because I think that's the most popular. Oh my God. Golden trinkets, mobile phone, expensive shoes, you can get your own. grand plans to go on the bayou, y'all. We're gonna go out in the swamp and be one with the alligators. Sadly, there have been just storm after storm just off and on rolling in all throughout the last couple days and today it is just picking up steam. Yeah. So as we pulled up to the marina, I actually popped the drone up real quick just to get a better look and it was not good. <laughs> there was a lot of dark clouds surrounding us. A lot of rain, a lot of lightning. Yeah. So sadly, they recommended obviously that we should not go out <laughs> yes so our our plan is to get up bright and early tomorrow head over and see if we can take it out then yeah and it might be raining then we'll I don't see know. so with a little bit of luck we'll see you on the water tomorrow hopefully there are a ton of gators in this water right now <laughs> you know besides this gator <laughs> <laughs> that's me alligator yeah. i don't know if they like to eat humans or what i'm hoping not we forgot to ask while we were up there <laughs> but it's a little nerve-wracking they just don't like uh canoes maybe that'll scare them off oh god there's one right over there no way Ooh. oh that's terrifying do you see him over there uh-huh Oh my should, God. Can we go back now? I think I'm done canoeing. That is actually really, t he's, th he's water level with us. Ooh. If he turns, I'm gonna freak out. I'm gonna beat him up with this oar. Y'all, now that we're out here and we have officially spotted one alligator, I'm just realizing how many things are popping out of the water, how many little bubble patches we're passing. I'm low key freaking out. <laughs> Try to keep it cool. Yeah. We 
managed to not get swallowed up by a gator just yet. <laughs> But I figured we should give you guys a better idea of where we are. I mean, is this place beautiful or what? It's like no place we've ever canoed before. Well, first off, it's a swamp, but what's cool is that it has all these little trees jutting up with these massive tree trunks and these green tops just as far as the eye can see. We're actually just near the Atchafalaya Basin, which is just a really fun word to say in general. But Atchafalaya Swamp is actually the largest swamp in the USA. And I guess it's a combination of like delta and uh, wetland. It's where the Atchafalaya River and the Gulf of Mexico converge. They create this beautiful landscape right here. You guys wanna hear a crazy coincidence? <laughs> We decided to go to this brewery we found nearby called Bayou Tesh Brewing, and then we realized just a mile before we got here, we've been here before. Yep. In fact, we stayed here before. Yeah. When we first started traveling, we did a whole road trip with our friend Matt, mm -hmm. and we stayed in that trailer right, right back there. We'll have to link to that video because it actually ended up being really funny. We had, first off, they invited us to go back to their house and we had, they made us dinner and everything. Yeah. And then we had a flood in the Airbnb, in the trailer. Yeah. <laughs> it was unfortunate, but it was pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> a good story in retrospect. And I remember the beers being pretty dang good. Yeah. Yeah, to a rectified day. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were the only ones in here and we're just chilling, drinking and watching the video of us five years ago coming to this brewery. <laughs> Oh, we were such babies. Yeah. It's crazy to watch our videos back then and then compare them to the ones we do now. They're so different. It's funny because, I don't know, the quality is so different from now or back then to now, but we're still us. Yeah. It feels very familiar, but also very different. It is also pouring like crazy outside. Yeah. We're, we're just pumping down in here, drinking our beer, watching our Watching stories. our on the internet as you do. Yes. We only do this when there's literally not a soul around because it's kind of embarrassing. It's good memories though. I don't know that I've watched this since we lived it five years yeah. ago. Also, in no way could you ever find this because it's not related to Louisiana. We were terrible at naming our videos. It was called, did she really just do that? Mardi Gras <laughs> Madness. There's- We contemplate going through and changing these names, but uh, ah, probably won't. <laughs> no, if, uh, if you really want to see what we were up to, you just gotta watch through all this weirdness. That enough? Seems good enough, right? I don't know. Smash <laughs> <laughs> it. Alright, one more try, dang it. Whoa, I did it! Yes! Fire! <laughs> and that is how man creates fire. Alright you guys, sausage should be done. Woo! Check that out. I mean I hope it's done. They were previously cooked, it's fine. Yeah, we're good to go. We got a little bit of sausage, we got some corn in here, and then we have some uh, mashed cauliflower cooking on the stove in there. Oh man, that smells good. It smells like summertime. Our dinner is served. Looks pretty good, don't you think? It looks very nice. What was this sausage called again? Chauncey? Charisse? Oh, why did, did you we... say Chauncey? What is that from? Charisse. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> this is apparently a popular sausage here in Cajun country. It is a pork sausage with a bunch of herbs and spices in there. It smells so flavorful. It is grilled to perfection. I know. Is it too hot still? Probably not. Mm. Give you a little moment. Oh! This girl likes sausage. Oh, I love sausage. <laughs> Normally, sausage, like barbecued sausage down in Texas is my favorite thing. Smoked sausage down there with barbecue sauce, but this rivals 
my favorite type of sausage. It is smoky and salty and spicy, savory, a little bit of sweetness in there. It has everything. I'm just gonna keep eating it forever. Sausage, cheers. Is that a thing? I don't think I like what's happening. <laughs> All right, obviously I need some time with this meal. So I think we're gonna end the video here, but tomorrow we are officially headed to New Orleans, just a couple hours away. And we, we are, are gonna be spending maybe the perfect weekend there. You have to stay tuned, see if it turns out to be the perfect weekend. Goodbye, Ventures. We'll see you on the road.